so welcome to episode one of my uh, training sessions yeah so in this episode we're going to be going through the next two weeks of my training um, I'm going to be using an app that I've found um, so yeah there's lots and lots of different training plans that I've been looking at over the, the first the first few weeks when I first signed up um, trying to decide what I wanted to do last time I did the marathon I was already at a half marathon distance again so I was just able to just continue it and that's where the uh, London Marathon training plan sort of leads off from we need to kind of be at a half marathon distance I was getting up to that sort of distance anyway I was getting up to about 10 miles um, but I decided just to scale it back before I started properly I've just been running three times a week on average between 5 and 10k and I just wanted to start from there really um, when I first started running I used an app I used an app to get me through it I did it so it's a kind of a walk a run and and then to see and then just build a distance up that way so I thought why not just try try the methods again the same brand of app that I used last time which I will show you um, and just go from there so I have downloaded the 21k app um, and so that gets me from about 10k distance to 21k distance over the next 12 weeks I want to say maybe it's a little bit longer I can't remember how long it goes on for and then after that there is another one to get you another app to get you from 21k to obviously 42k which is 26.2 miles the marathon distance so that's where we're at that's how I've done it I thought I've done it before I've used those methods before it's got I looked at the app and it's got things like easy runs tempo runs and it's also got interval training in which is what I missed out on last time I just missed that out altogether which is something I think is really important for me so that's where I'm up to I'm just about to start week one so wish me luck guys and, and I just want to like I said take you with me so here we go here's week one hi guys welcome to week one of training yeah this is week one um, I'm just starting out this morning um, I'm following an app so yeah I'm doing like a five minute walk up five minute warm up walk and then followed by a 45 minute walk and then a five minute cool down so this is where I am on my warm up journey it's a little bit blur today got the raincoat on it might come off now let's see what happens at the end yeah so that's where I'm up to so I'm just on my warm up walk and we'll see where we go from there really let's see how how easy or tough it is <laughs> yep I'm running. This is oh car coming. One minute. So this is a very exper experimental blo vlog for me. I'm learning to run and talk. And talk to you. Seeing if I can do it out of breath. Seeing if I can hold the GoPro. Yeah, seeing if it it's easy, it's comfortable. We got a new GoPro the other day but it's new for us it's been around for quite some time but it's definitely an upgrade from the one we had I want to say we had the GoPro Hero 4 or 5 I don't know but I think this is the Hero 8 black so there, very very expensive vlog style for me seeing how long and how strong my upper arm is how steady I can keep it, how easy I can find it running and talking at the same time. I think I need to get those weights out because my arm's killing me already. I think it's definitely going to change my running if I keep doing this the whole way. At the minute I've got it on a wrist strap so I'm not going to be able to change arms. I've been holding it for about 1 minute 30 now and my arm's killing me so yeah so I certainly won't be talking for 45 minutes so, yeah. this is where I'm currently at quite nice weather for jogging in actually but yeah all experimental so bear with me the vlogs might improve over the next 14 weeks so I'm halfway through my run right now feeling really good actually the jacket came off a bit of an issue taking off taking it over the camera 
had to really stop though to take the mountain off, take the wrist strap off. But yeah, it's busy out here this morning. I do prefer lockdown traffic. It was much quieter no matter what time you went out with now. It's a noisy, busy main road. But yeah, feeling quite good halfway through the run. Feeling very positive actually. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this situation though. Because after about 45 minutes, 45 minutes, I wish, 45 seconds, it is beginning to hurt. And I do want to swap hands and that's not going to be easy. So we're just ironing out all the details right now of how I'm going to film the rest of my journey. So yeah, halfway to go. Just doing some food prep. I have got Moroccan and chicken and chickpea tagine here. And I have got a chili on the boil here because I am working two long days. So I want to get ready and get all my food prepared. And I got them from this amazing new book of mine. So yeah, look and smell delicious. guys so it's Saturday morning it's quite early well quite early I had a bit of a sleep because I was working late last night sorry <laughs> still rubbing the sleep out of my eyes so this morning I'm going to be doing a strength training session it's something I have been listening to on all the podcasts I'm listening to and everything that I've read that is really important for any sort of marathon training or long distance running the strength training is something I didn't do last time, so I am trying to incorporate it in this time. It's week one, it's the first session, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, I'm not going to say it's something that I'm going to try and stick to the whole time, because I work shifts and I work quite a lot of days a week. Um, trying to fit the strength training in plus three to four running sessions a week is going to be difficult. Some mornings I've even scheduled in a strength training, tra strength training session before I start my 14 hour day, I'm not sure if that is going to stay. I'm going to try, I really am going to try. So this is my strength training, I can't say it, I was going to say it, my strength training session, yeah. And then tomorrow I've got my last big run of the week, so it's a 48 minute run tomorrow. I've already done two runs this week, um, and yeah, and I've got that other run tomorrow, so here we go. A gentle breeze, the night's got a fever To the moon and back, playing loud in the speakers You and me, can I marry you right away? Hi! So we're about halfway through my run now The sun has come out, which is lovely we're About three, almost three miles in Going really well um, I think I made a bit of a mistake yesterday my strength training yesterday not the best for the long run of the week so might just need to shift things around in the training following the app that I'm following is not easy when you work shift they base yourselves off a seven day calendar and most people are free and I'm not so I think that's just going to take a little bit of getting used to like I said last time yeah, the sun's out, which is lovely. Just running through lovely park and it's nice and quiet. I'm not sure if I can spin it around and show you. I'll give it a go. So yeah, here we go. Nice, lovely park. Oh, there are people on the swings and slides. I wasn't sure that was a thing now we've locked down, but obviously it is. It's really pretty, very really lovely. Sun is shining and a lovely blue sky. What better conditions for rain? Plus the wind's helping a little bit now. I like a nice breeze occasionally. So yeah, this is the run. So what do you do when you're out running? Podcasts, music, audible, music I like to mix it up a bit 
but occasionally when I've got that music blaring, I feel like I'm at karaoke. Anyone running past me, feel sorry for them at the minute. It's my life, it's now or never. Sorry. It's my life, it's now or never. Oh, I can't breathe. I think that's enough of that. So that's it, I have finished the end of my run now. It was, as always, a five minute warm up walk, followed by a five minute cool down walk. In between, it was a 48 minute run. So yeah, it was a good run today. The weather is beautiful. Um, sun came out, the wind is blowing a bit. We can live with that. But yeah, great run today. Nice run through the park. So I am just walking home. Great, another great run. Like I said before, during the run, if I could understand what I was saying, um, I think I made the mistake yesterday of doing a big strength and training session before the big run. <sighs> Sorry, never again. Um, I just need to iron out a few of the training issues. I'm sure I'll find a few more along the way. Um, so yeah, week one is done. Week one is done. Um, now on to week two. Yeah, I can't wait. I'll see you again next week. Bye. Good morning. Welcome to week two. I'm preparing for the worst. The weather has been awful for the last 30 minutes. So I've been procrastinating a little bit, but yeah, um, it's supposed to be looking a bit clearer later on, but I just wanted to get up and get gone. I'm actually quite late this morning. I actually wanted to get started at least half an hour ago, but the weather really put me off. So yeah, this is week two. We have got 45 minute run today. Obviously the five minute warm up walk. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at today. Wish me luck with the rain. I think it might hold off now, fingers crossed. But yeah, I'm preparing to keep going, no matter what the weather. Trust me, I'm not a fair weather runner. I will go out if I need to. I have been out in snow. I've run in one foot of snow before on the field. I've run in blizzards. So yeah, I am not a complete fair weather runner. I just prefer not to. Come on then, let's do the next week. So I'm almost halfway through. As you can see, the jacket's come off. The rain seems to have held, which is good. It's like wearing a big sweaty bin bag. It's really not pleasant. So I should just not care about the rain really, should I? The thought of running for like four miles. Absolutely so cute. Yeah. Anyway, the wind is still going. Sorry if you can hear it on the camera. Thought I'd try a different route out today. Sorry. Yep, yeah, thought I wanted to try out a different route today. Just because I heard. I'm gonna stop and walk for a minute. I just heard that it was bad for you to keep doing the same routes over and over again. Your body kind of gets used to it. So I thought I'd better try out different routes. Also to keep me interested. It's not great seeing the same routes. Knowing when I get to that certain hill, I slow down or I speed up. Your body just gets familiar with it. So I'll try out this different one today. Sorry. I think this GoPro is gonna make me a bit lazier trying to talk to you guys. But yeah. Just need to remember, keep smiling. Keep smiling as we go. It's important. Getting out here in the morning is amazing. So I've got another about 10, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to go. Feels a bit blah today. Feels like a really disjointed, plodding run. But yeah, I need to take away the positives. Sorry. Public. Um, yeah. yeah, just feeling a bit, ugh. It feels very ploddy, very disjointed, hard today. Even though it's not a big distance. I don't know what it is, whether it's because I don't do this route very often, or I don't know. 
Maybe it's because I was out running yesterday, went on a big family walk, my legs are feeling a bit heavy. Yeah, not quite sure what's going on. I'm gonna stop and walk for a minute. But I need to try and think of the positives. I'm out here, I'm doing it. It's one more walk done. Yeah, gonna carry on. So that's it. Week two, day one, done. Yeah, it wasn't pretty today. As I said, during the run, I'm not quite sure what happened today. My legs are just feeling like I'm running through quicksand. My feet are feeling like they're plodding. I don't know if it's my trainers. I got two pairs of trainers for running. Um, I bought a cheaper pair of ASICs, thinking that they'd be this similar to the old ones. Yeah, they're not. Um, these were just maybe to do the smaller mile runs but I think anything over 30, I think I need to be wearing my proper ones. The more expensive pair that I bought that are just amazing to run in. But yeah, I'm just making excuses this morning. It could be anything. I did it. I did it and that's all that matters. Getting out in the mornings wasn't the best time. It was very slow, but that's, that's life, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Need to take the rough with the smooth. Um, I can't always have those amazing runs, perfect weather. Even though today's weather is actually lovely for running in, to be honest. But stop, stop, stop beating yourself up, Diane. I got out, I did my training run, and tomorrow is another day. Yeah, speaking of tomorrow, tomorrow I have to, I'm going to work. And I work 14 hour shifts and I'm supposed to be doing a strength training session tomorrow for about 25 minutes. Not quite sure when I'm gonna fit that one in yet. I don't know whether to wake up first thing in the morning and do it then. Wake up at five and do a 25 minute strength training then before my 14 hour day. But when I get home, I think the best bet is probably gonna be when first thing in the morning, because I'm on another 14 hour day on Wednesday, I think. So it doesn't really give me very much, very long to sleep if I then try and do a 25 minute workout. We'll just see how it goes. I think I'm not gonna push myself too much tomorrow, but I'm gonna get up, try, have an early night and get up early. Watch this space. Going shopping today. Going shopping for some food prep. Um, I'm gonna be making a chili, not a chili, um, spicy soup. I'm gonna make it for the week. I've already got some meals left over from last week. I'm gonna go home. Have a nice cup of coffee or a nice turmeric tea. Have some porridge. Yeah, excuse the sweaty appearance. But that's life. Running for me is not gone right. Good morning, guys. Halfway through the run already. Interval training today. Something a little bit different. Must admit, I'm finding the walk session a bit, but. but that seems to be my uh, phrase of the, this um, episode so far. But I'll try and use better words in future. So it's a four minute, so five minute walk. Then it's a four minute run. And then we do intervals of one minute fast run and two minute walk. The two minute walk, I'm struggling a little bit. So I am sometimes jogging. I just don't feel like I'm working hard enough but the intervals are designed to get me faster. So I'm trying to do as much max effort as I can when I get to those running stages. So halfway through, let's see how I feel at the end. Okay. Oh. Even though we are Thursday, we are coming towards, still not towards the end of the training session this week. I did get up the other morning and do the strength session before work, yay! Set my alarm for five o'clock and I got up and did it. Actually felt really good for it because I was carrying on walking at work. So my muscles weren't as tight. So that was good. So I think it's time for um, running in a minute. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. I have finished 
finished my interval session for the morning. I think I'm gonna actually jog home because I don't feel like I've done enough. I've done about two miles altogether. The interval session itself was probably a little bit less. I know it's really important, but I think I'm just gonna do a very easy, gentle jog home. I have now, I'm just gonna stop for a minute because it gets a bit dark up there, look. Um, I have now ironed out the problems with my app. Um, when I first started using it, it was all coming through on my headphones. And then the first bleeps come through on the headphones run now whereas after that it just stops especially with interval training it's really important it started coming through on the apple watch but i figured out the problem um i have to put the lock screen on so i will show you guys the app um and show you how i use it and yeah and why i'm using it so i'll, I'll show you guys that as well um interval session is done um weather's not too bad this morning damp but cool so it's fine came out with a jumper on because I thought it was freezing. I'm really bad for picking the wrong clothes to wear. Then I get really hot, so it's obviously come off. So jog home, and then I might do a little bit of upper body strength training. Not lower body, but upper body. Um, and yeah, another day at work tomorrow. What else am I doing? And then I've got the weekend off, but obviously the weekend involves two runs in the morning, and then I'll see what the rest of the week plans. What lies ahead? So that's it for me now, and I will catch you guys later. See you on Sunday. Bye. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Saturday morning, the sun is shining. I finished work late last night and got home about half after 10 but it's now currently half eight, not bad really. And I'm about to do my long run of the week. So it's approximately about four, 54 minutes it says, but I've got about a 10K run to run route. So it probably will just take me slightly over that 54 minutes, but um, yeah, I kind of want to do this run today and this route, so that's what I'm doing. Just on my walking section, we all know that this comes first, a bit of a warm up. Had a bit of a stretch and then I am going to get running. Nice 10k and a nice beautiful day. So yeah, let's see where the day takes me. So that was a little bit different this morning. <laughs> running into three sheep on the road, escaped from the field. Slowed me down a little bit. Okay, but <laughs> a bit funny in the morning. I had a really good pace going and everything. Really stopped my stride. We can't but laugh. When you're actually really pleased that the level crossing's down. Oh no, I can't. I have to stop. Don't like the look of that big black cloud up there though. Better run faster so I can get home quicker. Let's stop for a minute and wait for the train to come. So. So this is my 10k route and the reason I wanted to do the full route this morning rather than cut it short, the canal is literally the closest thing I have to the seafront. It's really pleasant down here, it's got a lovely towpath, it's just a perfect nice flat route. Sometimes it's quiet, sometimes it's not. This stretch is generally quieter than the others, but yeah, it's just a nice place to come. Oh, three miles, halfway there. But look, it's just a really nice place to come running. Just getting, catching my breath again. I must look like a big, awful, sweaty mess. Long run finished. 5.5 miles, 54 minute run, with obviously my five minute cool down walk. Oh my God. Is anybody else find in the local area? There's always some sort of power tool, or grass blower, or, oh, sorry guys. So I think I found somewhere quieter. That's until the next lawnmower goes off. Sorry about the sweaty appearance again. 
So I've just finished my long run. Five and a half miles, like I said, and 54 minutes. <sighs> I couldn't run, I couldn't run and talk towards the end. I just like pushed it for the last mile and a half, or well, last mile at least. So yeah, there was no way I was talking. Feels great. It's just starting to rain. I did not order rain. I was supposed to be um, doing an overtime shift today, but I cancelled it because the weather was supposed to be good. But at the minute it's currently cloudy and spitting. Ah, it's spitting. <sighs> Never mind. I've got a HelloFresh order coming this after, well, in a, about an hour. I've got a HelloFresh order coming, so I'm excited to see what that is. I thought um, I'd try some different meals. Dave and the kids, if you know our vlogs at all, don't eat the same sort of foods that I like. I like something a little bit different. They don't. So I thought I'd try HelloFresh. There was an offer on, so I've gone with that, hoping that it might give me some inspiration. It's also easier than buying all the ingredients. I'll be able to see how much it works out cost-wise. So I thought I'd give it a go. So I got a coupon for the next couple of weeks. So I'm excited to see what's in there um, and how easy they are to prepare. So I'll show you what I've got when it arrives. Another run tomorrow, but a very short run. It's only about supposed to be about 22 minutes. I've had to jig the um, runs around a little bit this week. But yeah, just have to go with what shifts I'm working and what days I'm off. So I do have to play around with them a bit. So tomorrow's a very, very short, it's only a 22 minute run. I think it's just supposed to be an easy recovery run. And I'm also going out for a big walk with the family. So I thought best do the short run tomorrow rather than this long run today, as well as going out for a long walk. So yeah, let's see what HelloFresh brings. I'm really excited. So my HelloFresh parcels arrived. Excited about this. Yeah, I've not opened it yet. So let's see what I've got. I've obviously unsealed it, but I haven't properly opened it. So let's have a look. Oh, so here are the recipe cards. Let's see what I've ordered. <laughs> I can't believe it. There we go again. There is another person cutting the hedge or cutting the grass. So we have got Thai style beef. We've got a Mango chutney glazed spice chicken breast. It's like I can't read all of a sudden. Oven baked cheesy tomato risotto. Oh, that sounds really nice. And we've got a spiced pork ragu. That's what we've got this week. So I've ordered four meals just for two people. So that'll, it's mainly for me, so that'll do eight meals for me. So that's really good. Take me to work and stuff. So here we go. We've got quite sure what it is. Ingredients for a delicious meal. I think, oh, oh, that says number two on it. That says number three on it. So I'm assuming I'm working this out slowly. It coincides with that one. It's a number three on that one. A random clove of garlic. This one is for meal one. Oh, and this is obviously the fresh stuff. It's all packaged in some fairy stuff. Not quite sure what. And that says card number five. Ooh, look at all that. That looks really yummy. Got some sun dried tomatoes. Cucumber. Oh, it looks really good. What's we got here? Oh, some honey. Everything is heavily packaged though. Got some baby gem lettuce. And everything is heavily um well everything said literally everything says hello fresh on it. So that's it. That's my meals that I've got. And I'll open this when I've got a spare hand. Good morning. I'm being quiet this morning. It's half seven, it's Sunday. This is the last run of my week. Obviously, it's Sunday. So this is coming to the end of week two. It's very early, it's very quiet. It's also very lovely. Sun is shining, blue skies are out. Um, a little bit chilly, but I'm sure this jump will be coming off. Um, really soon. <laughs> Just doing a very, very gentle recovery run today. Um, yeah, 
five minute warm up walk and it's a 10 minute easy jog, two minute walk, another 10 minute easy jog. Oh God, that sun, beautiful. And then the five minute cool down again. It's half seven, like I said, Sunday morning. There is nobody about. Perfect. How nice is this this morning? Just the odd car. Yeah. You can't beat this for a start of a Sunday morning. I've switched the music off today. It just feels so nice just doing it without. Apart from the occasional car. But yeah. What a perfect morning to come running. On my two minute slow down walk, feels a little bit like I'm cheating when I do this. But you've got to trust, trust the, the, the apps and trust the, the plans. They know what they're doing. People that have made these or written the plans know what they're doing. So yeah, 10 minute walk, sorry, 10 minute run, two minute walk, 10 minute run. Feels really, oh, feels really short, like I'm cheating, but I need to trust it. It's not like I've not been out running this week. This is the fourth run of the week and I've had a strength training today. Oh, one mile, halfway. It's going off in my ears. Yeah, so trust them, trust that they know what they're doing. But it's beautiful this morning. I'm just stopping in and enjoying this moment. Yeah, husband's in bed, kids are in bed. I am up and about. So, we are going for a nice walk, like I said, later, so another I think it's about three or four miles up and down a few hills and stuff so it's not like I am not carrying on with the exercise later I do have a real problem with making sure I put in enough effort and enough exercise so then be able to chill out the rest of the day it's quite a big problem of mine mentally it's just me I'm afraid I do need to relax a little bit about that oh Start time to run. Next 10 minutes. I'll see you at the finish line. So that's it. My Sunday run is done. Like I said, it was really, really short. But it was nice. It's a glorious day. Amazing start to the morning. Yeah. So that's it. Week two is done. Only another. 26 weeks to go. Yeah, so week two is done. Feel accomplished, feel great. Got a few niggles going on that I need to kind of sort out. My left knee is giving me some problems and I've got, I hate this word, a bunion. I'm very prone to bunions and I have been since I worked at the airport wearing heel, high heels for years. So it's causing me a lot of problems on my left foot at the minute. So I need to sort that little one out. But yeah, all together, good. So thanks for watching. If you stuck with me to the end of this episode, I really appreciate it. I need all the support I can get. Yeah, come back and join me in another two weeks. Um, episode two. I'll be doing weeks three and four. I'm excited to get going with my training, get those distances further. Yeah, so join me in two weeks. See you later.